。美国 CDC 的数据显示，被称为 Arcturus 大角星的奥密克戎新变体 XBB 1 1 6正在全美传播，目前已经扩散到至少二十六个州，以加利福尼亚州、德克萨斯州和纽约州确诊案例最多，约占新冠感染的百分之六。大角星最初是在印度确定，目前已在二十九个国家出现。世界卫生组织表示，该变种更具感染性。其他观察结果表明，一种新症状是结膜炎，也称为红眼病。那么，在美国公共卫生紧急状态结束的情况下，疫情现在处于什么阶段？新变种是否会产生新一轮感染高峰？针对民众关心的问题，加州少数族裔媒体服务中心 （EMS） 于四月二十八日邀请医学及病毒学专家做客圆桌讨论，重点介绍了大角星的特性、防护措施及治疗方案等。对于新冠疫情当下处于一个什么样的阶段以及未来如何，加州大学旧金山分校医学系教授 Robert M. Water 首先表示。I tell you, the the state of COVID, at least as far as I can tell, feels reasonably mild、uh, compared to what we have seen in the past three years, and remarkably stable. I think the last eighteen months, the biggest surprise has been the relative lack of surprises. Every several months, a new one coming out that is a little bit better at its job of infecting people and evading immunity, but not a game changer. And by that I mean that the vaccine and the boosters still work reasonably well in about the same way that we have thought for the last 18 months or so. That Paxlovid still works reasonably well. That your home test still works reasonably well. The case rates are relatively low. Wastewater is relatively low. Hospitalizations are relatively low.、Uh, whether the new variant becomes a, a, an important thing or just another thing. I think you know the last year or so really feels like new variants that are a little scary, and then they turn out not to be that big a deal. And so I think if past is prologue, that's likely to be what happens with this newest、uh, this newest variant. 范德堡大学医学院传染病学系医学教授 Dr. William Schaffner 指出 ，COVID is kind of stable, but、uh, just a few brief emendations.、Uh, the first is COVID has not disappeared. We should recognize that in the United States, on a daily basis, 200 to 300 people still die of COVID in this country. But it's clear that our population immunity is much more secure now than it was even a year ago. These Omicron variants seem to be spreading, producing milder. Disease, less frequently hospitalizations. The people who are getting hospitalized today are basically in two groups. One is some people who've never gotten vaccinated, and number two, people who are older, frail, immune compromised. I call that to everyone's attention because they are eligible. Just as Dr. Wachter said, to a second booster,、uh, and we could go into those details. I am concerned that we have not really taken advantage of the now no longer new bivalent booster. We're looking forward to the fall because there will be, we anticipate, a yet another updated booster available. And along with influenza vaccine, and maybe also RSV vaccine. 对于大角星带来的新症状 ，Shafner 分析称，该变种主要有两个症状，会导致更多的发热，但这并不是新冠的主要症状，可能会显示出是一种免疫的系统受到刺激。另一种结膜炎是受感染的反应，似乎和其他导致结膜炎的病毒是相关的。眼睛会发红、肿胀、发痒、视力模糊，此症状在儿科是更为常见的。针对当下的新冠疫苗是否对新变种有效这一问题，德克萨斯 A N M 大学生物学教授和全球健康研究中心首席病毒学家 Dr. Ben Newman 表示。Uh, the new,、uh, I believe it's Arcturus variant, is about as different from Omicron as Omicron was different from Delta. And so, just like we saw the Omicron wave come through, there is at least the potential for that. 
if uh, we're not masking. In May, that's the earliest opportunity where that panel could look at an updated vaccine. And if they look at the data and the data look good, then potentially the CDC could rule on that in the next week or two. Dr. Ben Newman 指出，新的加强针不会完全是最新的，但它应该涵盖当前的变种。最后，专家们表示，额外的加强针有助于降低风险。如有基础病及免疫力低下的人群，应该注射加强针，并建议佩戴口罩。人们应在决策时权衡利弊、风险及治疗方案。